Um, I love Las Vegas. I love Bishop Gorman High School. I mean, this is, you know, the place that molded me to the, the man that I am today. When you're number one in the nation, you have a lot of teams that want to play you. We don't care about going undefeated. It's not our goal. Our goal is just to go out and challenge ourselves to seeing how good we really are. It's like a Division I program here. It's, it's definitely one of the top schools, if not the top high school in, in the nation. There's hard times, there's hard practices, but you, you know, you gotta learn, learn to push it. I think I work very hard, and I think our coaches work very hard, and I think that's contagious. I teach the kids as if they were college kids and college fundamentals and technique of the position. I didn't have a life in high school. A lot of my buddies used to go on trips and vacations, and there were so many things that I didn't get a chance to experience because I was 707 camps, passing tournaments, but it all you know, paid dividends in the end. You gotta make a lot of sacrifices at the end of the day, and um, you won't understand until you get to a certain level in your life. I met Briaggio, yeah, four years, well, going on four years ago this freshman year. He, he always tells us that we have to do better, be better at everything we do. There's certain kids that come along that have things that you can't teach and coach. They're going to have those regardless. And we may want to take credit for them, and you call yourself a speed guru if you want, but when you have elite speed like Biagio has, you know, that's a God-given gift that you're born with, and then it's up to him and also up to us to optimize that. You know, out here, yeah, you're, you're you know, one of the good players, you know, but when you go to college, it's going to be, you know, 10 DeMarco Murrays. So what's going to separate you, you know, from these other guys? And the thing that separated me from a lot of other players with the work ethic. And they got to push through it to become great. Then who wants to be a part? You want to talk about the freaking building? It ain't about the building. It's about the work that happens in the field. That's what the problem I think we won 39 straight. We haven't lost in two years, a little over two years. So as soon as Mount Varsity has not lost the game. Last year was his first year to actually start. When I had a breakout year, junior year, it, um, it all started rolling in. Everything that I worked for was all now starting to pay off. You're gonna stand up, chest out, chin up. You understand? Yes, sir. And if you do that, you will always win at life. He's bound to have another great year, I think, if he keeps working like he does. My dream is to achieve greatness in anything I do, football, um, education, anything. Who works harder we do? That's right, no one does. I would like to know more about Biagio and as a person, obviously as a player as well. The obvious thing about, you know, him was his speed right off the bat. He ran a four, I think it was a four four nine or four four eight like right away. So what are some of the things that he needs to work on? What are some of the things that he likes or he dislikes? One of the main things he has to work on this offseason is his one cut. Like it's one cut plant and let us roll. It'll just make him faster, just that much faster, which he's already the fastest guy on the field. And and a pass blocking. All right, well you say let's go meet the Agio and you know we'll break down a little film. Cool, cool. Let's do it. Yeah. Sounds good. So so you got contact zone right here. I'm gonna go five points of pressure. That's, Bam. That's normal, right? Yep, and then you plant regular, but finish through, okay? All right, while I'm running through? Yeah. While you're running through, finish right. through. Oh. <laughs> How we doing, my man? Good, how are you? DeMarco, nice to meet you, my good, man. Nice how you doing, you. you good? Yeah, I'm good. Was, was y'all doing little drills out here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so what, what drills are we working on Just, here? Just, um, ball security. Hopefully you carry it a little bit better than I do. I kind of, I get, I get yelled at a lot, so I'll, I'll watch you on this drill right here, and then we'll, we'll go check out some film or something. Okay, cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank oh, you. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. Ready, let's go. It's the mental aspect that's going to make the best player or the best team get that edge over the other other team. So um, I'm out here busting my ass, you know, but am I going to quit because I'm tired, because I'm sore, because I'm hurt? Mental toughness is being your best regardless of circumstances. Running back screen to the left. Oh, they're blessing. Lovely. You gotta catch that, right? Yeah. If it touches your hands, you should catch it. Yeah. As a running back, you wanna be a dual threat. This is gonna separate you from everyone else if you can block, yeah. if you can run, if you can catch the ball. Your footwork on this, you see how you're not going straight? You, yeah. And you made your cut three yards from the line of scrimmage, which is bad. You made the right read, but you just cut it up way too fast. Yeah. Let's see what you do here. What was the problem? Why, did, why do you think he got inside of you? 
I think because I kept pushing off and no, the, maybe if I held on. Look at your footwork. You're false stepping, but you got to take better footwork and you'll get the job done. Yeah. As soon as you get off that tackle's ass, you got to stay tight to him. You're so far away, you want to make that cut now. Yeah. That can be the difference between one to three yards right there. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy watching the film with you, man. You got a lot of talent. I think we're going to go on the field, do a couple drills, you know, try to, try to, you know, brighten up our games a little bit. All right. Oh, I remember this. So we're gonna work our one cut plant. Ready to go. Up, uh, up, uh, there you go. A little bit more crisp. Yeah. And when you put that foot in the ground, you really wanna over exaggerate. Let's do it one more time. All right, let's do it again. Ready to go. There you go, nice. That was a hell of a job right there. That was perfect. All right, we wanna move on to the blocking. As soon as he goes. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. A little, little better posture, yeah. Okay. Let's go. There you go. I think every day we have a choice and, you know, to either choose to be great or you choose to be an average person and, and player. And I think that's the best part of, you know, this journey of life that we have. We all have choices to make. You know, every day you get to wake up, you know, you know God willing, and um, you can Work hard. You can, you know, practice your craft, you know, day in day out, and you can try to be, you can try to be the best at it. Hell of a job. Appreciate you coming out here, man. Had a great time. Obviously, a hell of a school, man. Get Thank your you education. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. fall out this year, man. Thank you. I'll for be coming praying out. for you, brother. No doubt.